You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. This is Attracting Your Life with host Maisha. Maisha is here to educate and discuss different concepts, modalities, and theories on supporting the vision of elevating the universal mindset. So now, please welcome the host of Attracting Your Life, Maisha. Welcome to Attracting Your Life. I'm your host, Maisha, and we're coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you enjoyed last week's show. Um, I really enjoyed having our conversation with our ho- our vet guests last week. It was some great information. If you missed it, you can always uh, listen to the past shows on iHeartRadio or Apple iTunes. Uh, that's a great feature. And you can also kind of take notes because for me, I know I had to take a lot of notes about that information that was going forth. Um, It was really um, something that really shifted my energies into different ways of thinking things. And um, I hope it can do the same for you. So let's see what is going on with me. I am getting ready to um, hang out with my family. We're going to a wedding, which is really cool. It's my, um, family and it's always good to hang out with family and uh, I just enjoy that and so for tonight's show I kind of definitely want to talk to you about a concept and I need you to kind of be open to it and I'm going to kind of walk through it slow so if you hear some pauses it's just me trying to get a download so to speak so the question for tonight is Is a setback truly a setback or could it be an opportunity to propel you to new heights? That's what we're going to talk about tonight. But first, we need to define what is setback. For me, I define it as a reversal in progress or process or goal that I'm trying to achieve. So anything that kind of pulls me back a little bit, um, It's an upset, a problem, misfortune, disappointment, a challenge. So once again, let's pose that question and kind of reframe it a little bit. So is a setback truly a misfortune, a problem, a challenge, or could it be an opportunity to propel you to new heights? If you've ever been snapped or others called it shot with a rubber band, then you know it hurts. It's uncomfortable. It also has energy, enough energy to smack you in the arm and cause a sting. Remember, we've talked about this concept of energy before. Quantum physics is showing us that everything in the universe is energy. Science has shown us that everything is made up of energy. Do you guys get that? It's the building block of all matter. The same energy that composes your body is the same one that composes the bricks of your house that you live in, your car, your phone, animals, trees, and so forth. It's all the same. It's constantly flowing and changing form all the time. This is a universal law called perpetual transformation of energy. Uh, it's a long concept, and if you study like all the universal laws, you probably understand this more. But the base thing to understand is that energy is everywhere, and it can never, it can neither be created nor destroyed. 
everything in this universe is made up of the same stuff. It's just presented in different forms and shapes. There's a place where all things begin, right? We all say that, whether we're talking about religion, spirituality, or even just science. A location of pure energy that simply is. Energy is the force that can cause objects to move. Even a chair has electrons moving. So it may appear as a solid stagnant mass, but it's not stagnant. It's moving slower than we can see it, of course. Energy is stored in pieces of wood. It's released, the energy is released when the piece of wood is burnt, right? Sunlight electromagnet pulses, sound waves, radio waves, and all these different types of energies. And most of these can be seen by the human eye, while others, they are measured or use, they have to use some technology to get you to see it. So back to this rubber band and snapping us. The relationship between a rubber band at rest is energy stored. The energy it holds is released when it's stretched and the distance the rubber band will propel in the air is the amount of energy it has. I want you to kind of think about that, see it, visualize that rubber band being pulled back and as it's released, that's the energy force. I really want to help you change your perspective perspective about challenges, setbacks, problems, situations that you view as being negative. I want you to think of what you view as a setback uh, as a resting rubber band full of energy and potential. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, as you're listening to me go over this concept, you're thinking, how can I do that? I just lost my job. I'm going through a divorce. I'm sick. Or, you know, all these other types of situations that we're going through. My car just got repossessed, on and on and on. These are all the stories, these negative stories, these situations that we view and that we're experiencing as negative. And I'm not telling you that they're not negative. I'm just asking you for this time to view it as a rubber band, a resting rubber band. All of us have stories and situations that we view negative, but it has much I guess it has so much more potential for you if you can view it as energy being stored in the situation. My question is, are you willing to stretch yourself to analyze this setback, this challenge, this problem, this situation that is viewed back, bad, negative, To use it to propel you to go forward. Are you willing to ask and do the work to release the energy that this setback has to offer? I know these are like questions that maybe some of you are having a hard time to even conceptualize. Like how the fact that me going through a divorce or my car being repossessed can be actually something full of energy to propel me forward to a new situation, but it can. If you're willing to think about the view in a different way, viewing this situation as an opportunity. First, it starts with changing your perspective of the situation. I'm not telling you that it's that it doesn't exist. I'm just saying, let's just invite a new perspective to it. We're going to go to a commercial break. 
And when we come back, we're going to talk more about this. We're, you're listening to Attracting Your Life, and I'm your host, Maisha. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Leip is a renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Welcome back to Attracting a Life, and I'm your host, Maja. And we are coming to you live uh, from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we started to just talk about how to view things a little bit differently, your challenge, your perspective. And first, it starts with changing your perspective of the situation. It's not negative or positive, because really, to be honest, negative and positive doesn't really exist. I know it sounds weird, but it really doesn't. It's actually a concept in your mind that you have created based on your subconscious views about things. This polarity is an emotion attachment to the situation. It's your interpretation of the situation that has labeled the event as good, which is pleasant to you, or bad, disagreeable to you. You have such a connection to your personal view of good and bad that this is how you derive your sense of self. This is your identity, your mindset, your truth. So my truth is going to be different from your truth based on just the experiences that we've went through. That's neither good or bad. It just is. It's it's our ego. That's what our ego is all about. It is inseparable from yourself. You can't really... Mm, it's your identity. We all have this, you know, this ego. It's your identification with your mindset. And I'm not judging it. It's whatever it is. Our mindset is based on our conditioning, um, which is a combination of our upbringing, our environment, our opinions that have been passed on from friends, family, society, so to speak. And all of this is stored in your subconscious mind. So I've shared with you before that um, I grew up in a household um, from parents who were immigrants from a third world country, right? So one of the mindsets or things that I viewed in my subconscious mind was that I had to eat everything off my plate because you don't know when your next meal is going to come. Well, that wasn't the case for us, my brothers and sisters, 
here in the United States, we knew where our next meal was going to come. We knew what time it was going to come. We knew we could open the refrigerator and find food. But because of how my parents were raised and because of how they passed that mindset to us, that we had a tendency of the plate was huge and food was full and you had to eat everything on your plate or it was like a disrespect to your mom or disrespect to just the the fact because you don't know when the next meal and so later on fast forward in my 20s and 30s I'm wondering why I'm having a hard time losing weight and it's because I still had that mindset in my subconscious mind that I have to eat everything on my plate like no matter if I'm full or not I gotta eat everything on my plate and so it's the mindset that whether you're trying to create a goal or trying to shift yourself into a new um, environment for yourself, so to speak, or view an aspect or a situation from negative to positive with the opportunity of propelling you forward, you really have to identify some of the mindsets that are in your subconscious mind that could be a hindrance or an obstacle. Once again, I'm not putting a label on it, whether it's good or bad. It's just to identify and to observe it. Be that observer about it. And if you view as as if it doesn't serve you anymore, it's okay to let it go. And it's through the process of letting things go that no longer serves you that you find yourself open to new opportunities, new aspects of thinking things in a different manner. Everything that's stored in your subconscious mind, it's really not you. It's not your soul. It's not your essence. When we allow ourselves to derive our identity from our personal history, the stories of the interpretations of experiences that have occurred in our life, you know, our opinions, our memories, which are all stored in the subconscious mind, it limits oneself. It limits us to really understand who we are and what we are. Now, To be honest, a majority of the humanity sees and derives their identity in the manner of what I spoke of, which is through your personal history, through stories of interpretations of experiences that have occurred in their life, through their opinions, memories, all stored in your subconscious mind. And there's nothing wrong with it. Majority of us do it. And we're all experiencing our own personal evolution. All of us, we all have our own journey of our own personal evolution. There's not one that's slower than the other or one that is more, that's one is better than the other. It's just our own personal evolution. Even now, at this moment, There are some of you who are listening to this broadcast can't understand what I'm talking about. That's okay. (laughs) It's part of everyone's personal evolution. Some of this is not going to resonate with you. It's okay. You have your own perfect evolution that's happening in your consciousness. But there are some of you, this information is vibrating and igniting in you. This conversation is a higher state of consciousness. This conversation is not really for the masses. Most of us are not ready to understand or willing to understand how they can shift and change things in their reality. We're going to go to a commercial break. You're listening to Attracting Your Life, and I'm your host, Maisha. 
Stay tuned. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. America is out of control. Today's capitalism and the approach to money is in fact the symptom of a more widespread pattern of excessive behavior. In his book, The Culture of Excess, How America Lost Self-Control and Why We Need to Redefine Success, clinical psychologist Dr. Jay Slosar portrays an America where excess fuels the drive to succeed. Dr. Slosar examines the cultural factors that lead to excess ranging from obesity to fraud to pervasive budget deficits. His book examines the powerful economic and social factors and their impact on our psychological well-being. Dr. Slosar explores the psychological impact of increasing narcissism, perfectionism, self-destruction, and our identity confusion. He offers recommendations for helping Generation Me become Generation We. Those who resist Slosar's message will want to avoid his discussion of regulation and his recent message that at this point, democracy must be more important than today's capitalism. Get his book now online or by visiting thecultureofexcess.com. Welcome back to Charging Life, and I'm your host, Maja, and we're coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, <laughs> I was trying to identify that some people may not get some of the concepts that we're going to talk about in this show, which is perfectly fine. But there are some of you, this information is vibrating, igniting. And you are becoming or have been awakened to the fact that you are one with God's source energy. You are consciousness connected to all and in all. You're aware of this. You have an awareness of openness. So to you, who's experiencing this setback, challenge, problem, be open in the awareness that life will give you whatever you need for the evolution of your consciousness. Let me say that one more time, because it's a hard pill to swallow, I know. Life will give you whatever you need for the evolution of your personal consciousness, your personal evolution. Yeah, I know. It's hard, right? So you're like a beacon of light calling to the universe. You're attracting the situations and the events that your soul desires for your evolution of your personal consciousness growth. All of us is doing this. It's just some of us are aware of it and some of us choose not to be aware of it or can't even understand the concept yet. Yes, I know. This is a hard pill to swallow, but it's true. So how do you know that this is the experience that you need? Because it's the experience that you're having at this moment. So, once again, the question for tonight, is the setback truly a misfortune, a disappointment, a problem, an obstacle? I say no. It's an experience that you need for your own personal consciousness evolution.
the question is, what will you do with it? Will you sulk and have a pity party and play the victim role? It's so easy to do that. Really, it's easy to play the victim role. It's easy for us to blame everybody else. You know, it's so-and-so's fault. It's this person's fault. It's that group of people's fault. It's that culture's fault. Or will you beat yourself up and feel shame and guilt? Oh, I should have done this. Oh, if I only had listened to so-and-so. Oh, the shame. I'm so shame. That is also very easy to do. Will you get mad and find someone on the outside of yourself to blame? Use them as a scapegoat. Because it's easier to deflect it onto somebody else. It's Susie's fault that I didn't get the pro- promotion. You know she's a backstabber. Da, 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 da. You can go on and on with the story. It's that chick from across the street who made my husband have an affair on me. We can go on and on with all these negative views of the situation. And there's nothing wrong if that's the choice, if that's the route, if that's the journey that you choose to. Or will you take the opportunity, this setback, this challenge, a situation, the problem, whatever you would like to call it, as an opportunity to propel you to new heights? I challenge you. Stretch yourself as a rubber band. Make that shift into a higher consciousness. Stop living in opposition to what is the present moment. The present moment is offering you something. Allow this challenge experience to propel you to new heights. Now, there's some of you right now who are screaming and saying that is just impossible. You know, I've done all the work that I can do. It's because, you know, there's no good men around. That's why I'm not in a relationship or... I'm in this divorce because he chose to step out of this marriage. Da, da, da. You know, I get it. Believe me, I get it. I understand. I've been there. I've walked in your shoes in some experiences, in some situations. Some I haven't. Because it wasn't part of my consciousness journey. Each of us have our own consciousness journey that we're going through for our own personal evolution. And some of us will find people to walk down that journey together. Some of us is going to find people who can kind of lead us through that way. And that's all I'm doing right now. Without really talking about each of your situations individually, I am telling you that this concept, this rubber band theory, all of us can use it in whatever situation, whatever journey, whatever experience that part of your personal growth that you can use to propel as a rubber man. But it's all about perspective, about changing the perspective. And there's certain parts of your mindsets that holding you into the belief of the scapegoat or the victim role or the whatever your story may be. I know it's a hard pill for people to say or to understand that I'm in this situation because I chose to be in this situation. Oh, God, you can't tell me that I'm in an abusive marriage because I chose that. Oh, no. And if some of you know my story, you know that was where I was at. 
But I want to challenge you to think of it differently. We're going to go to a commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to pick up this understanding. You're listening to Attract Your Life. I'm your host, Maisha. Stay tuned. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy-to-understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Stapula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapoulis strives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Welcome back, everyone. This is Attracting Your Life, and I'm your host, Maisha. And if you're still staying tuned to or listening to this, this is for you. This is a show about a higher consciousness and a higher level of understanding of who you are. We're talking about challenges, about stretching yourself as a rubber band and viewing your setback as an opportunity. So to make this shift into this higher consciousness, you know, stop living in this opposition to what is in the present moment. Allow this setback, this challenge, this experience to propel you to new heights. You need to make the shift. And so how do we do that? One, you need to accept this moment as if you chose it for yourself. I'm not going to go as far and say you attract it to yourself because that may be just too much to handle and make uh, this rubber man theory hard for you to even go through. But just, you know what, just accept as it comes. You know what? Accept the moment as if you chose it. It is. It is what it is, right? It's here. It's in this situation. I'm in this terrible marriage. I accept it. Now I got to get out, right? But as you are accepting it, realizing that this is an opportunity of seeing yourself at the present moment of how you were sending out beacons of vibration energy to the universe of this is the situation I need and want to change in my life. You know, I'm part of that new age thinking with law of attraction. And when I found myself in a bad situation, a bad marriage, I had to go through the process, which was really difficult for me to say and to understand and to accept that I had attracted an abusive person, marriage. And I had to go through what was in my subconscious mind, what was in my mindset of lowly thinking about myself, self, you know, not 
deserving someone good, great, and loving that allowed me to be in the situation that I was in that I didn't like. But I, it's about waking up and realizing, okay, I accept that this moment is something I chose for myself and I can use it. And how do I move it to propel myself going forward? And two, step two in this process is don't deny the moment. Resisting the moment makes you more depressed, unhappy. It's not the situation that caused the unhappiness. It's not, it's not the, that you lost your job that makes you unhappy. It's your mind's view that has labeled the situation into a disagreeable manner. I'm telling you, there's some people out there, if they lost a job, they would be happy. They'd be like, hey, it's time to party. But that's their view. It's their perspective. Everybody has a different perspective, and that has to do with how they were, what's in their subconscious mind, how they were raised, their community, their environment. The mind is interpreting every situation in a certain way that produces either happiness, a happy feeling, or sad and unhappy feelings. The ego comes up with stories, and they're telling us these stories all the time. And most often they're not great stories the mind is telling you you should have it in one specific way you should have it this way you should have it your way and when it doesn't come out your way or this way then it's labeled as bad but what if what if the situation that occur is actually good to help you propel yourself forward. So step three is watching what your mind is doing. Become an observer of the interpretation that the mind is giving and labeling the experience. This will help you to really understand What is truth? You've heard it before. Everybody says that there's several sides to every story, right? There's her side, there's your side, and then there's the truth, right? But the reason why there's so many different sides to the story is because everybody has an ego. Everyone has an attachment. Everyone is interpreting it in their own way, in their own glass fills, whether they're rose filled glasses, whether they're dark sunglasses, everybody's seeing the situation in their own view. And it's all based on what is housed, what is stored in your subconscious mind. So when two women both going through a divorce, one is ready to hire a party bus after the divorce. Once the papers are signed, stamped, and sealed by the the county, they're ready to have a party bus waiting for them right outside, and they go about to party, while the other one is ready to find a rope to go hang herself. It's all about perspective, but it's all about what's housed in your subconscious mind and how you interpret it. Two people having a conversation and both hear different things. It's because of the interpretation of words, the expression of the words that the other person is interpreting their expressions. Or another thing, I love this, emails, right? Emails have no tone. You can't hear anything in an email, right? I'll have somebody come back and say, you were yelling at me in this email. I didn't like your tone. My tone? What are you talking about? I didn't talk to you. I sent you an email. It's their interpretation. It's that little voice that they have of how Maja would say it in their head and that they read it that way. 
be mindful of your mind. You're listening to Attracting Your Life. I'm your host, Maja, and we're going to go to a commercial break. Stay tuned for more. Patricia Fayweather Harlow is passionate about the environment and conserving our natural resources. She's written a five-part book series for all ages called Rock with Rodney and Party with Perky to Preserve Wildlife, which brings awareness through these vibrant characters on preserving and protecting our national parks and historic landmarks. Harlow has launched a campaign to mobilize green supporters, informing a united front against big oil, big coal, and the Keystone XL pipeline. And she addresses the controversial practice of fracking in books four and five. She's determined to bring greater awareness to the dangers of drilling and running crude oil through pipelines that cut through pristine landscapes. And she empowers readers to take action in keeping America beautiful. To learn more about Patricia Fayweather Harlow and to purchase her books, visit www.patricia-fayweather-harlow.com. That's F-A-Y-E-R-W-E-A-T-H-E-R. And play your part in preserving the landscape that we all share and love. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com and for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or or Bonnie GP at AOL.com. Welcome back to Attracting Your Life, and I'm your host, Maisha. And we're coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we were just kind of talking about the mindsets and how our mind can basically play tricks on us. <laughs> um, I'm giggling because that's a rap song. My mind's playing tricks on me. Anyway, um, I'm dating myself. Um, so, but step three is to watch your mind. Be mindful. Have mindfulness. And this is a concept like even in um, some Hindu culture, they talk about the monkey brain, listening to you know, stop the chatter of the monkey brain. Stop the chatter of what it's constantly telling you that is basically negative. I guess you could think of mindfulness as a wise and being affection to the attention that the mind is projecting to you. If you can really separate your thoughts of the situation to the present moment, then you'll realize that labeling it, labeling it negative doesn't really serve you. And a way of doing that is through meditation and being open to the awareness of being one. Being one with that person who is basically making your job a living hell, right? Understanding that that person and you are one connected to God's source energy, right? I view it as God's source energy being a tree, the tree trunk. And this is an exercise for me that I have to do quite often too in different situations. And people who are filled with low vibration, are further away (laughs) from the tree trunk. Those are the thin, thin branches and and leaves that are withering. They're really far from the tree trunk because obviously through their actions and through the way they perceive things, they can't possibly have God's love flowing through them, right? Oh my gosh, yes. That was a very big opinion and judgment. But it's understanding that we are all one, right? 
wherever we fall on the tree and the branches, whether we're really close to the trunk or whether we're really far out, we are all connected. And through meditating in the state of a oneness, awareness that all of us are part of the super conscious mind brings peace. If you find yourself depressed, you're really living in the past. You're constantly reliving situations that had already occurred. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. If you have peace, you're living in the present. That's a quote from the Tao. And it's really understanding how to have peace at each present moment. Have no worries for tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Look at the birds in the air. They neither worry where their food and meal is going to come. Yes, I'm quoting the Bible. These are the things that even Jesus was talking about, right? This is nothing new age. It's about being in the present moment and not fighting the situation. Not resisting the moment. Because resisting makes depression and unhappiness. Be happy in the moment. Accept the moment. Find joy of how this moment can propel you forward. A person who lost their job and they had the opportunity to stay at home for the summer with their kids. Maybe it was a little bit different, but now they were able to see you at home. That was a wonderful, propelling situation, right? Find joy in each moment. Stop labeling every situation that may be uncomfortable as a negative because really it's through your challenge it's through it's through the challenge it's through the uncomfortable situations that you really know what you're made of maybe you have to pull yourself away from your friends maybe even your family who are part of the monkey brain chatter that's not allowing you to see the truth. That this situation, this so-called obstacle that everybody's calling, is really just an opportunity to propel you forward further than you've ever even imagined. The question is, are you going to answer that challenge? Opportunities knocking at the door. Are you going to answer? Be happy in the moment. That's enough. Each moment is all we need, not more. Through your time of meditation, you will find yourself being exposed to outlets and answers and ways to shift the present moment that is uncomfortable to something that can propel you forward. You lost your job. All of a sudden you, I will never forget this for me. I, I lost the job and I was just sitting there and this is, I was like, Oh my God, it was my early twenties. And all of a sudden I saw a commercial for Dean Witter and I was like, let me apply there. What do I have to lose? Right. But it was through that quietness of just sitting and just accepting. I was literally just sitting on my couch. Just sitting there. Not being depressed. Not really being happy. But just being consciously aware of my present moment. And the commercial came through. And the commercial resonated with me. It like ignited something in me. For me to just say, let me go apply there. So I looked up for the closest 
Morgan Stanley Dean Witter at the time, and I applied. I, I shared with you guys that I had a fire, so I've been going through a lot of my old stuff. I saw, I found that resume that I applied for for Dean Weather. I have no idea how I got that job. That resume was hideous. There was misspellings. There was just like it was all over the place. I have, to be honest, I'm looking at. I have no idea how they hired me. But I got that job. I started off as a sales assistant. Got my series seven, sixty three, fifty three, fifty. Yeah, fifty three, six, fifty three. I went on and on to the point I became a manager, operations manager, and compliance. You never know, but it's being quiet in that still moment. We're gonna go to a commercial break, and when we come back, we're gonna kind of close this concept up. You're listening to Attracting Your Life, and I'm your host, Maisha. Stay tuned. Intergenerational programming is uniting America due to the tireless efforts of Dr. Ramona Frischman. Retired from the Miami-Dade County Public School System, Dr. Frischman continues to develop intergenerational learning programs aimed to improve the lives of children, young adults, and seniors through unique strategies and public policy in order to establish a mutually supportive agenda. She views intergenerational programs as a resource for policymakers and the general public on economic, social, and personal initiatives that govern our society. Her work bridges the generational gap, providing many individuals the opportunity to explore areas of common ground and celebrate each other's diversity. Contact Ramona Frischman at RamonaLong at AOL.com or visit www.gu.org to learn more about intergenerational programming. Welcome back, everyone. This is Attracting Your Life, and you're listening to this broadcast about a higher consciousness and a different awareness of situations that we view as being negative or challenging. And I just want to challenge you to view it differently. I want you to understand that accepting the moment as if you chose it is the first step. Don't deny the moment. Resisting the moment makes it just more difficult and end up making you depressed and unhappy. And the third step is watching your mind. Watching how that monkey brain, that chatter in your head of the interpretations of experiencing experiences, how it gives you certain feelings about the experience. Remember, there's really no such thing as good or bad. It's your interpretation. And we all have our own mindset and interpretation based on things that resonate in our subconscious mind. So it's not a good or bad thing. It's it's not that you are not ready. I'm just saying for us to think about it in a different manner. And it's through the thinking about it in a different manner that we find ourselves with the ability to stretch ourselves to a higher or to a stretching ourselves to a way that we can propel ourselves moving forward using the energy that we're all, that we all have, that we're all connected to, to using the situation to get us to a different place in life. As I said earlier, quantum physicists say that energy is in everything. Energy is even in the situation that you're in right now. I challenge you to use the situation to propel you forward to a different arena in life. I never said that it would be easy but the situation that is viewed as a setback that's in your life remember that it's really the universe bringing it to you for you to shift your consciousness it's part of your evolution your personal evolution of growth opportunities knocking My question is, are you going to open the door? Are you going to shift your mindset? 
are you going to do the work? Are you going to accept that this moment is if you chose it? And if you if you don't want to, it's okay. Believe me, and I've said this before, half of humanity, majority of humanity is not ready for this. But if you feel the nudge, if you listen to this broadcast completely, it's your time. It's not easy. And it helps if you are working with a coach and you guys know I'm a coach. I talk about this all the time. Work, call me, email me. I have no problem with working with you and we have different type of packages and how we can work those things out. Read a book. Listen to different meditations. Just do something different. Stop having this pity party. Albert Einstein, I guess, is quoted as saying, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. I'm just asking you to change. Take that challenge. I really appreciate you listening to this broadcast. I hope you have a great week. And remember, you are the master of your own universe. This is Maja, and you're listening to Attracting Your Life. Take care. Oh, we had 30 seconds? Oh, my God, you guys. Okay, I guess I was just so into this conversation. But like I said, take the challenge. We, li- we talk every week about different concepts of how to help you to elevate your life. And I hope you're listening to this. If you miss it, you can always go to iHeartRadio and listen to past broadcasts. But it's about you making the change for yourself. Nobody can do it for you. You can work with a coach all day long. You can read the books. But if you're not willing to do the work, if you're not willing to do the digging, it won't happen. So have a great week. And we'll talk next week. You're listening to Attracting Your Life Radio. And I'm Maisha. You have been listening to Attracting Your Life with your host, Maja. Listen each week as Maja will help you become more aware and tap into the universal conscious mind here on Attracting Your Life with Maja. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.